you, I don't know. <coughs> oh, sorry, Professor Lemner. Um, no, 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 no. We are good friends. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, please have a seat. Uh, uh, I know that, that you have to be in, uh, in media, uh, in, the, in the press room, in, in, in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes, so we have to... Uh, you have to know, be fast. That is very unusual for for an Finno ugrian people. So we uh, have to speak very fast now. We have to be speak very fast. Um, the, um, so I'll start immediately with the uh, uh, with some thoughts that uh, came out from your uh, keynote. First of all, thank you for the for the excellent keynote speech. That it's it's uh, touched the the main. Uh, topics, uh, the main challenges that, that we are facing. Um, it seems to me that we all have a, a common goal uh, that Europe should be um, leading the digital mm. uh, market uh, and cybersecurity market uh, with that. The, um, but there are a bit different views how to get there. Mm. Um, the, you, you talked about trust, that is the basis of, of, of everything. Uh, the people should trust the digital services, the, mm. the, the technology, the governments. The, uh, so the first, first of all, it seems to me that the trust is between the people and the governments mm. uh, that is giving the, the essential services. Um, so w what is the role for EU there? How can EU help to build the trust? Uh, at the same time, you mentioned that uh, the people are expecting for the European Union to, to protect them. Uh, so the, uh, the role for the, for the government's member states and the role for the EU. Uh, could you share your thoughts on that? Thank you, Taimar. Very good question and um, um, hard to answer, answer in, in a short way. Um, I think we always have to remember, especially when we are talking about the trust and security, uh, security is a cultural issue. And I see that we are a little bit like a learning to live with this digital security at the moment. And it takes time to change uh, culture. Uh, and maybe part of this changing culture is this, um, some, difficulties, some difficulties to increase the cooperation inside the European Union. And I see that one of the key points is, like your president very well said earlier, that this is not primarily a technological issue. This is a mindset issue. Changing your mindset that, okay, this is the way that we want to go ahead. We want to be the global leader in the next generation technologies by 2025. Okay, that's eight years, pretty short time, and the development is going very fast. But the thing is that no country, not even Finland, Estonia, Germany, any European Union country can do or be the global leader by themselves. But together, I fully think that we can. We have excellent companies, we have excellent people, we are smart people in Europe. But one thing that I am a little bit worried, and I would like to say this one also to the officials of the European Union, that I am a little bit worried that where are the European big software companies? Where are the European big cybersecurity companies or social media companies or um, European Googles and that kind of... So I would like to see more European solutions and services. And I think that's one way to increase the trust also, especially among the Europeans. Thank you. The, um, uh, you talked about the, where, where are those, those companies. Um, uh, well, they are in the United States or in, in, in Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, it's a very good question. Where, why are they there? It's, it seems to me that even the good startups that uh, mm -hmm. are, are starting from Europe, when they get going, they're going to move somewhere else Absolutely. in the United States. Yeah. Um, Estonia, when, when adopting uh, digital solutions or, or cyber, cyber security solutions, mm -hmm. Um, I think the key to our success has not been that uh, we are in very good in we are very good in innovation or or, uh, or technical stuff, but rather that our government has been very flexible mm. uh, by adopting uh, new laws, uh, changing the way we do business. But that's not everywhere uh, mm. like that. So how do you 
how do you balance that? What do you need to do then that uh, that the government's reaction is not that rigid uh, that would allow this innovation to to actually happen? Uh, what is your uh, uh, your advice to those governments then, or EU? I think it's the same advice, not only for the each country, but the whole EU especially. Uh, as I mentioned in my keynote, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that uh, this speed, accelerating speed of this uh, development of the technology and, and, and digitalization, I see that a very positive trend for us Europeans. But at the same time, I'm a little bit, I am a little bit afraid that uh, there will be like an over-regulation on these issues. And that will actually prevent these innovations and new models. Because uh, it's very hard to imagine what kind of technologies is already available 2025, where we want to be the world digital uh, leader in these issues. And uh, I think one thing that we should not do at the moment is not to over-regulate these issues and uh, um, keep, the, keep the things going on in a way and uh, uh, new innovative uh, uh, establishing, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, in your keynote, you mentioned uh, uh, that the, uh, the issue about uh, the workforce in, mm. in cyber security. Um, we say in Estonia that uh, in cyber, capability means competent people. Mm. Uh, uh, the, the technology is getting more complicated, our dependency grows on it, so we, we need more and more cybersecurity people with better and better competences. Mm -hmm. And you said that uh, soon we'll face uh, uh, a gap of uh, three, 350,000 people. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, uh, Finland is considered to be one of the, the best uh, countries in the world who has uh, adopted their educational system mm -hmm. to produce better cyber security mm. people. Could you share some thoughts being from the Finnish mm. Academy uh, University? Could you share some thoughts on, on uh, what can other countries or EU learn from, from your approach? Mm. Well, first of all, what maybe worries me most when I'm thinking about the future of the European cybersecurity is the shortage of the cybersecurity professionals. And that's going to be a huge problem for EU and for countries, including my country, Finland, if we really don't do something at the moment. Because even if there would be a political will, even if there would be a, uh, enough resources, how you can actually uh, do this security by design if you don't have the most valuable assets, the talented people, to do that? And on the other hand, I think it's very important to keep in mind that when we are talking about the cyber expertise, it's a very wide area nowadays. You need like a people concentrating on the cyber issues into international politics, and on the other hand, you need people who go very, very, very deep into technological details. And uh, yes, thank you for your kind wor uh, words. Um, I could say that Finland is one of the most educated country um, in, in many ways, are according to many surveys and researches uh, also. And I think, um, as has been mentioned in many times in Finnish history, that's the most important capital what a small country like Finland can have, have the civilized and educated people. And I think um, one issue is that uh, we have the principle of equality. Equal, op e equal uh, possibilities for education, whatever your background is, how much money, what kind of parents, what your skin color is, no matter. You have equal opportunities to educate yourself up to the doctoral degrees, more or less uh, free. And I think that's very encouraging, uh, encouraging um, uh, issue. And on the other hand, um, I would like to say also that uh, it's very important not to teach young people to take a test, to teach them to learn them more. Because this is especially, as you very well know, when we are talking about the digitalization of cybersecurity, I think one of the biggest challenges for experts is that how we keep up with this development, because so much is happening all the time. We should be reading all the reports and uh, new issues, what, has, what is coming. This is like a constant learning curve where we are uh, we are uh, living at the moment 
also a little bit older ones, but especially the, the younger ones. And uh, I think that's the spirit that we really have to emphasize, not only in the Finland, but in, in the whole EU area. Thank you. And thank you for uh, coming here. Uh, My pleasure. Joining us and, and uh, sharing your thoughts. Um, and uh, good luck uh, with the media now. Thank you very much, Taimar. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.